US is too diverse. I actually think it's the opposite, right? For its landmass, US is pretty homogenous, right? There are a lot of differences. Going to a different state can be like going to a different country. But with that said, right, when you're looking somewhere like here, right? <laughs> This, this is bigger than this, right? The US is bigger than Europe. And if you're looking at Europe, right? Like you are looking at such distinct cultures and languages, right? You are looking at such distinct architecture, such distinct traditions. And when you're looking at the US, you're looking at places that were settled by kind of the same people at kind of the same time. And that makes the US really challenging. Uh, for the same reason that Russia is really challenging, which is just, it's really big. You know, like, uh, obviously, right, we're looking at the um, Mercator projection here, right? So Greenland is not that big, Russia is not that big, and the US is not that small. Map projections are lying to you, right? Some more than others, uh, and all in different ways. <laughs> but uh, the US is bigger than it looks here, and Russia is smaller than it looks here. Russia isn't big. Russia is huge. It's just not as big as it looks on this map, right? On this map, Russia looks like it's bigger than the US plus all of Europe, right? Plus like all of South America, right? Yeah, this is a Mercator projection issue. Uh, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that the decision to use the Mercator projection in school classrooms in the US was made during the Cold War because it made Russia look so big and scary. Oh, the US gotta do so much. Oh, we gotta work so hard. Oh God, we gotta spend so much money on defense because we're so little and look how big it is. <laughs> but I haven't actually verified that, so I'm not sure. You're so confused. Why are you confused? What's confusing? So, okay, for those of you who don't understand map projections, let's talk map projections. Let's look at a map. And uh, let's talk map projections. Okay, so what you're looking at right here, this is the Mercator projection, right? When you, when you are taking a sphere and you're trying to unwrap it and make it a flat surface, right? Picture peeling an orange and then trying to make the orange peel lie flat, right? It's not gonna be a square, right? It's not gonna be a square. It's gonna be kind of a weird like oval and it's gonna have like cuts in it, right? It's not gonna look like a, like a, like a, like a rectangle like this. So in order to make it look like a rectangle, right? If you have a, an oval and you want to turn that into a rectangle, you got to stretch the top and bottom, right? Now, if you look at this map, everything along the middle looks pretty small, right? And everything along the top and the bottom is looking pretty big, pretty wide, right? But like, if you look at Antarctica, right? Antarctica is not an enormous landmass. <laughs> Right? Antarctica is not a huge, huge landmass. It is not like the size of all of the other land on Earth combined. At the same time, freaking look at Greenland up here. Look at the sheer girth, right? Greenland doesn't look like that. Not in reality, not on a globe, right? When you look at a globe and compare the sizes of these countries there to the sizes of these countries on the Mercator projection, you're gonna notice that the things near the poles get stretched out bigger uh, and the things in the middle get sort of swashed together smaller, right? And that's what you need to do to turn an oval, which is, again, an oval not the same as a sphere, but it's more honest to a sphere, uh, into a rectangle. <laughs> now, there are many different ways to make these projections. There are many different ways to do this. The Mercator projection is not the best, IMO. It makes Russia look enormous. It makes the US look pretty small. It kind of tricks you into not realizing how freaking huge Africa is. <laughs> with that said, it is the standard one used in America and therefore it's the one that I grew up with, right? You don't know if there are best projections? Th I would say there are worse projections. <laughs> Personally, I would say there are worse projections. It does help to preserve shape. There are a lot of ways to preserve shape. There are many projections that preserve shape. Uh, and uh, there are many projections that preserve size better while preserving shape. Uh, but yeah, no, um, you, you can look into more map projections. Maybe sometime we'll explore that uh, on our own. Uh, this is kind of a silly map projection uh, that makes you um, overestimate the size of Russia, but it's still really big. Speaking of which, I think we might be in Russia again, but like very Western Russia if we're in Russia.